Hello and welcome to Gotham City Nights. This is a channel focused on all elements of Batman Miniatures Game of 3rd Edition from Night Models. This specific series is focused on giving new and returning players to the game the tools and information to approach their first few games of Batman Miniatures Game of 3rd Edition. I'm Kaiowas and let's dive into this video's topic. Let's now take a look at how you would set up a board for a game of Batman 3rd Edition. Number one, the scenery. All we have to do is make up a board. Use your collection of buildings, scattered terrain, and other things you want to put on the board in a way that makes an interesting setup. Try not to have too many buildings and try not to clutter the board too much with cover and uh, line of sight blockers. And make sure the edges and corners aren't too busy. This is because we want to make sure that the deployment will be easy once we get to that stage of a game. Number two, the roll off. Now you and your opponent will take a d6 each and roll it to determine who will set up the rest of the board first. The winner of the roll doesn't specifically have to be the person who places the pieces of the board first, but they can choose to go first or second winning the roll. If you do draw on the roll, please re-roll until you resolve. Number three, the urban furniture. The urban furniture is just the interactive elements of the scenery that have to be placed pre-game by both players. This includes the lampposts and the sewers. There are two lampposts and two sewers per player. Players should take turns placing lampposts and then sewers. The legal placement requirements of lampposts is that they must be at least two inches from the side of the board and then eight inches from every other lamppost. The same rules apply to sewers, only they have to be 8 inches away from every other sewer marker. Number 4. The Deployment Type Shuffle the Deployment Deck and draw one off the top. This will show a diagram of how both crews are set to deploy in the upcoming battle. Player 1 gets to choose whether they will occupy the yellow or black parts of the deployment and also the orientation of the deployment, north, south, east, west, etc. Number five, and this part is optional, the event deck. Shuffle the event deck and draw one off the top. This may give you special deployment requirements or just a rule that will be in effect during the entire game. Number six, the objective cards. Both players will draw a hand of four objective cards from their objective deck. They should review these cards at this point and see if they want to keep all of them or discard any amount of them. Once they are discarded, they are placed under your objective deck and you draw back up to four cards. This will be your starting hand for the game. Number seven, and again, this one is optional, plots. Each player is now able to select their starting plot from the four plots that they brought with them for the game. Each player should consider the cards that they have in hand and how easy it will be to complete the plot's objectives before choosing this. The rest of the plots should be shuffled and placed face down next to the plot which is active. Finally, we get to number eight, which is miniature deployment. Both players should take any undercover and hidden miniatures and place them to one side, then split the remaining miniatures in half. These will represent two different deployment halves. Player one will deploy their first half first, followed by player two, then back round to player one who will deploy their second half of their crew, again followed by player two. 
After that deployment is complete, the undercover miniatures are placed. The rule for undercover is that they can be placed up to 8 inches away from the deployment zones. After the undercover miniatures, then the hidden miniatures can be placed. Hidden miniatures can be placed anywhere on the board as long as they are out of line of sight of an enemy or at least 12 inches away. Well folks, that is the pre-game step of the game all done. Now you're ready to jump into the action. All that's left to say is thank you for watching this short video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Keep watching the series to learn about all the elements of Batman Miniatures Game 3rd Edition. And if you have friends interested in the game, please consider sharing this series to them. If you want to see us put all this into action, check out our Battle Report series, where we usually post a battle report between myself and my colleague Salandra once every two weeks. We also hope to start putting out tactics, strategy and miniature spotlight videos to continue the discussion and showcase this great game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our content and we'll see you next time.